Hello techies. In this tutorial, we will learn how to work with trim text test action. Let me start with a simple example. If you see on my screen, I'm having a name Sevaji Rao. But before the name, I'm having white space characters. If you see over here, I'm having white space beginning of the name and also the white space at the end of the name. Now, I want to remove these white spaces or tab or new line kind of thing from the particular test. How can I go ahead and do that? That we can do by using trim text test action. What is the purpose of trim text text action? It removes all the occurrences of the white space characters such as space, tab or new line from the beginning or end of the existing text. All right, now I will show you how to work with trim text text action. If you see on my flow, I'm having set variable. In that set variable, I have given the name variable name as name and inside that I have given the name over here as Sevaji Rao. If you see, I'm having in the Sevaji Rao, I'm having white space characters over here and also at the end also, you can see white spaces over there. All right, let me click on save. Now, to know the length of this name, I'm going to use display message. Inside that, what I have done, I have taken the length of the particular flow variable, that is name. How can I have displayed? In the display message, I have taken it as the property as name dot. Length is the property which I have used to know the length of the name. All right. Now, I want to trim the space characters before the text or end of the text. How can I go ahead and do that? Let me drag and drop trim text action onto the workspace. Now we'll see the properties over here. Text to trim, from which text you want to remove the white spaces. Over here, I want to remove the white spaces from the name variable, right? I'm going to select that variable name. And then you can see there are three different types of options that we have. There you can see what to trim, that is nothing but white space characters from the beginning or from the end or beginning at the end as well as you can do that. Now, first of all, I will select white space characters from the beginning and the end. So that from the text at the beginning of we are having white spaces that will be trimmed as well as we are having white space characters at the end of the text also. We can remove both at a time by using white space characters from the beginning. All right, now the result, what are the trimmed text that we have, it will be saved in the variable that is trimmed text. All right, click on save. Now we have used trimmed text, text action. And then we have removed the white spaces or we have removed all the occurrence of white spaces at the beginning and the end of the text. But how would I know the particular text has been trimmed or not? There what we'll do by using display message, what I will do, I will display the output. I'm going to give the title as output and then message to display, which one I want to display, the trimmed text, right? As an output, I will show that trimmed text. Click on save. Now let's run the flow. Flow execution started and you can see the entire name length is Sivaji Rao is 14 characters, including the spaces that we have. All right, let's click on OK. Now, if you see over here, the output came as Sivaji Rao. All right. Now, after trimming this one at the beginning and the end, that is Sivaji Rao, we got an output. But we are getting the same name, right? But we will get some confusion over here. The white space has been trimmed or not. Now, how can we get it? How can we know that one? Now what I will do, I will take one more display message over here. Inside that, what I will do, I will take the length of the trimmed text. All right, trimmed text, and I'm going to select the length. I will say over here, output length. All right, click on save. Let's run the flow. Flow execution started, and you can see the name length is 14. Click on OK. After trimming, you got the output as Sivajirao, OK. Now, if you see the length after trimming, the, the length is 11. So previously we had 14 with the white spaces. After trimming at the beginning and the end, that we got it as 11. All right, click on OK. 
Now I will tell you another option in the trim text that I want to trim only at the beginning of the white uh, beginning of the text. Then what is the option that I will do? White space character from the beginning. All right, click on save. Now let's run the flow. At the beginning, we are having two space characters over there in the name of Sevaji Rao. All right, the length is 14. Now after trimming, that we need to get as 12. Click on OK. Now if you see the length, that is 12 of this after trimming at the beginning. All right, click on OK. Now I will show you at the end. I'm going to select what to trim from the end. At the end of the text, I'm having only one white space character so that what will happen, I will get it as 13. Let's run the flow once again to make you understand. Now the length is 14, all right. Name is Sivaji Rao output. Now you can see the output length as 13 because of at the end of the text, we have removed, we have removed the white spaces by using white space character from the end. That's the reason only one white space has been removed. That's the reason we get it as a 13 is the length. All right, click on OK. Now I will tell you where exactly we are going to use this trim text text action in our real time scenario. Let us assume if you are working in the database, sometimes what we will do, we'll give extra characters in the name, which are, you know, we are having fixed length like 10, but whenever we are entering the data, what will happen? At the time, we will add extra white space characters, which are not required. So that what will happen, this kind of white spaces or tabs or new lines will create the problem while you are working with the database, right? To trim that, we will use trim text test action as part of the SQL database. And also you can see sometimes we can use in Excel also because of we, if you're going to work with the Excel, there's a lot of spaces we are having at the beginning of the text and as well as the end of the text, we are having a lot of white space characters or new line kind of thing that we will find out. To trim them, what we will do, we will use trim text test action. I hope you understand how to work with trim text test action as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Power Automate tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.